I definitely knew I heard something. Can I get you with this? Oh, crap. What's it? Oh! Oh! What the crap? What the crap? No, 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 no. Where did that come from? Dude, a crazy man. No! Oh, my lord. How am I going to get away from this? What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, we're playing here on the Crystal Isles, having so much fun doing flips. Man, oh man, guys, thanks for joining me yet again. Another beautiful day. And holy crud, last episode, we summoned in a tamed Celestial Dota Wyvern. This thing is so cool looking. Totally love it. It's got some pretty awesome moves to it. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Valkyrie. Come on, do your big move. Do your big move. Boom! I mean, come on now. Look at that. That is a cluster. It is absolutely insane. Unfortunately, we still can't go in the inventory. Wasn't fixed yet, wasn't patched yet. So, I don't know, we'll get to it. We'll see what's up. Anyway, I wanted to kick things off today, possibly looking into the Celestial uh, Broodmother. We have to go and find ourselves a Robo Spider. Yeah, let's see if we can do it. That's what's supposed to unlock we, uh, the Ingram to take on the Warden. We've done this so many times. It should already be an unlocked Ingram. For whatever reason, it isn't. Hopefully it's working now because it's been a few days since we did a Robo Spider. We shall see. All right, guys, easy enough. We got a Robo Spider, <laughs> not bad. I don't know if I can take him on with the RG. I can't recall if I've ever tried that before. I guess let's, oh yeah, we can do this. I, I have faith. We just don't want him to smack us. Ooh, already did some damage to us. All right, come on. Oh, I think it's thorns damage. These stupid things. I hate creatures that have thorns damage. It is not cool. All right, we got this, guys. We got this. All right, I'm just going to chill here. Oh, my goodness. It walks away from me. Come on, dude. That is not cool. Ooh. All right, almost done. Almost. Oh, oh, don't go in the water. Oh, that could have been so bad. That could have been so bad. All right, we got this right here. This is it. Yes. Hey, and we did. We learned the Ingram. All right, so I guess that did finally get put into the game. So frustrating. We've taken on like dozens of Robo Spiders this season. But hey, I guess that's what we needed to do. Anyway, let's head back to the base. Let's see if we can afford to summon a Robo Spider. Holy crud. All right, guys, and my bad, I meant to say the Warden Spider, not the Robo Spider. Can we afford to summon it in? Um, Let's go ahead, take a look-see. So turn on, and let's do that, and where is it? It's Karkanos is his name. So it looks like we're short a whole bunch of trophies. So Dota Wyvern and Manicore. We need a lot of them. Hopefully, check this out, what I got. Um, Where should we grind this up? We'll grind it up over in this one. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Do a quick little salvage there. Ooh, nice. Um, All right, so where was I? So, Manicore Saddle, let's see how much we get. Oh, sweet, or no, it's not Manicore, that's Dota Wyvern. Look at how many we got. That's ridiculous. So that's a saddle from a boss drop. So that's easily gonna be more than enough. Let's go ahead, grab that and that, and a whole bunch of other stuff left over. All right, next up, let's do a mana core. I got a Mastercraft saddle. Boom, awesome. Let's go ahead and just yank all those. Beautiful. All right, that should be well more than enough. And trophy. Transfer all. Beautiful. We didn't even have to grind up all the saddles. All right. And Karkano boss. Do we now have enough? Awesome. All right. Let's grab the summon in for the boss battle. Good Lord. So much stuff. So many goodies. All right. Let's put our saddles back. 
Very cool. And who do we want to use for this battle? Do we want it to be a quick battle? You know what? We haven't used Paquito in a while. Why don't we use our Paquito? Awesome. All right. How we doing, bro? Um, This guy can't fly, so I guess we don't have to go that far away. I think we'll be okay if we do it just right over here. Ooh, what do we got here? Come here, Dodos. Get wrecked. Actually, I wouldn't mind getting some meat in my guy, but I guess it's not the, the biggest deal. All right, come here, bro. Boom. All right, here goes nothing. Summon in Carcanos. Dude, look at this guy. He's awesome looking. It totally looks like the Robo Spider, but then with a giant metal like, like tech armor. It's super cool. All right, what does this guy's stats look like? All right, not a problem. Shouldn't be too bad of a fight. I'm gonna try and doing it without using our mega move, which would easily one-shot him. All right, not a problem. Get out of here. Dude, it does the negative damage. That is so crazy. For those of you that don't know, uh, when you see that negative two billion or whatever damage, um, the arc as a game can only like count up so high. And once you get to a certain point, it just starts showing negative damage, but it's really, you know, higher than that number. So pretty crazy cool. This guy has got serious power. Like no joke. That is so nuts. It's weird how it's like different depending on, you know, what it hits. Anyway, not important. We got all the stuff we need. Let's go back up to the pond. Dude, Bikito, you are amazing. I'm so happy Bikito is fixed. That bothered me so much before. And now he might be one of the best. All right, so we got 10 spider essence, which is very cool. Um, let's just grab all these goodies. And the rest is all Ingram unlocks. All right, sweet. Let's go on in. And let's see if we can craft this sucker. I might need to make a few more things. But we shall see. Let's go ahead and toss all this in there. All these goodies. Very nice. Another Broodmother trophy. And again, we should now see it. So where is it? So Bikito Core. What, what is the guy called, by the way? Silla... I can never say that. It's the name, I think, of the Vanilla Spider. There it is. There's the core. We got enough to do it for artifacts. What are we missing here? So a Broodmother saddle and three, two more Broodmother trophies. All right, that's not a problem. Check this out. Oop. Let's go ahead. Let's grab out. We had another Broodmother saddle, I think. Oh, this is the saddle we're going to use for the guy. And then we have a Mastercraft and a Mastercraft. All right, so if I grind up this Mastercraft saddle, um, I guess we can do it right here. So grind up. That is going to give us, in fact, let's do it like this. So we can see. Boom! Look at all them heads. So it only takes five heads to make a normal saddle. So we'll get the normal saddle needed for the craft plus all those extra heads. That's why you see in some places, like I think in here, I have a ridiculous number of heads. I just didn't want to put them all in the thing. That's from grinding saddles. Anywho. Um, all right, so let's get back in here. Let's go Broodmother. Let's go ahead and craft up that saddle. Can we afford it? Oh, this takes Ancient Chitin. Ooh. All right, luckily I had it. All right, beautiful. Craft up. And... What is this guy's name? There we go. All right, so if we pull that, it should pull over the heads and... Bada boom. Awesome. I am so happy. So we've got the saddle. We got everything we need. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to see the Celestial Broodmother? Oh my goodness. This is going to be epic. Absolutely epic. Our final Celestial to summon. Oh. And three, two, one. Boom. Awesome! <gasps> Look at our brood mother! Dude, it is amazing. Totally tacked out. 
Oh my goodness. That is one crazy looking spider. What is it? Silitha. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Here's the saddle. Beautiful. We can go in the inventory, thank goodness. And can I mount you? Oh, let's... Did I already do this? All right, let's mount. Beautiful. Look at that. How you ride right on top, right above that. Is it like a... What is that that I'm on? I don't know. It's like a little spike. A little spike coming out of its its big old nasty brood mother body. Oh, man. All right, it's decently fast. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a problem. What? It doesn't break down trees? All right, whatever. Whatever. All right, let's see. Does it take fall damage? All right, no fall damage. It's super janky. Like the uh, the camera view. That's kind of weird. First person, also kind of janky, but you actually can see. So that's cool. And that's funny. That's the spike that I'm on. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing right in front of me. All right. More importantly, moves. All right. Got the typical flick. Right click. Whoa, dude, it shoots instead of like the normally it shoots like the, the venom or the, I don't know, the poison and the webs. Look at that. It's like laser la webs. All right. The C. Dude. So again, that would shoot out like the uh, the poison, the venom. This shoots out like balls of energy that explode. X. All right, I'm assuming that's the big move and also the roar. And look at that clears trees. All right, and it looks like that is likely it. There's no R. There's no Q. All right. Well, good enough. Let's see how powerful this thing is. Oh, and there's, is there a jump? No jump. Yeah, this is weird. I've never seen one so like kind of janky walking like that. Oh my goodness. What are you gonna do? But it is awesome looking. All right, damage wise. That guy was probably mate boosted. All right, so it's gonna likely be a little bit less powerful at least with its initial melee than most every other guy that we have. See, so right click. All right, all right, I can see as long as that moves up with the melee, you know, it hits many times. CC. That, that did nothing to him. Come on. Come on, bro. All right. Hopefully that's not purely aesthetics. Could that would suck. But that move already hitting in the billions, dude. And it's a Reaper. Did we did we get a bag with glands? Come on. Come on, Reaper. Let your goo go away. We got to we got to find out. We need the glands. That is very high up on our list. All right, there we go. Reaper. Okay, phew. We almost missed it. That's going to be annoying. Um, sometimes dinos, when they're bigger, do not uh, pick up stuff. Can I seriously mount on you, please? Sometimes dinos, when they're bigger, don't pick up very well. Um, I've seen this in a lot of different mods, including Extinction Core. Um, so hopefully that's not the case and that was just a fluke thing. Dude, that did the negative damage. This thing is crazy powerful like that. That is nuts. Let's see what happens when we go in the water. All right, so it just, I think it just walks along the bottom. It doesn't allow you to, to swim at all. Sometimes brood mothers are able to swim. Sometimes. Oh man, it's gonna make me dizzy. Come here, bro. Ready? Boom! Yeah, it's it's a little funky. It's definitely a little funky, but you know what? It's a very powerful creature. Very, very powerful. And I do like it. Brood mothers are always I always tend to do them last because between you and me, they are not my they're my least favorite of the bosses. But you know, I'm I'm just kinda that's just me. That's just me. There's nothing overtly wrong with them. They just tend to be a lot of times slow and kind of, I don't know, just not as nimble, as agile as some of the others. But this guy is pretty beastly. All right, now that we got those attack levels in, let's see how we do. Oh my goodness, bro. Um, I think it's it's supposed to break the stuff, but what, like, the rocks, but what happens is, I think when it walks over a rock, it, like, changes height. You know, like it's trying to walk over it, and that's 
probably what's causing all the shenanigans. All right, let's just clear out the trees. So again, I assume that's a mistake and it's probably gonna be fixed, the not breaking trees, because it would be the only Celestial that doesn't. To my knowledge, that I've tried. All right, come here, bro. Let me flick you. Awesome. But I think we should be able to take on some pretty beastly creatures with this. Come on. Boom! Dude, that is so strong. That move might be stronger than the others. I've seen it do that negative damage more often than any other of the creatures and reach further when doing it. So that is pretty cool. Another annoying thing, I mean, I, there's not much you can do about it, but when it's walking, it stops dead in its tracks. All right, let's do a few there. It stops dead in its tracks when you do an attack move. All right, come here, bro. What is, is that a, ooh, that's female 733, Alpha Spino. That's a beauty. Let's see, if we don't kill it in one hit. All right, I'm gonna try and see if I can get this guy down low enough to get an egg. I mean, why not? We probably won't. Is that low enough? Come on, be low enough. Come on. Oh man, are you serious? Are you kidding me? Does it do, oh, it does Thornton's damage back to it. If I just chill here and let it hit me, Possible? No, it's regaining its health faster than I'm doing it. Ooh, ooh, that might be enough. Did it do an egg? I was looking at the wrong side. Are you serious? That wasn't enough? All right, come on. Do it to right about there. All right, come on. Maybe we got an egg. Maybe, maybe. Probably not. We're not that lucky. Come on, dude. No egg. Yeah, no egg. Dang it. Let's just make sure there's not an egg somewhere else. It's kind of nice being able to see around here. Now we learn the eggs float. So yeah, I'm not seeing it. Oh, wells. We already got a bunch of spinos. Not the biggest thing in the world, but that was a cool looking one for sure. All right, come on. Ooh, we got a tech mantis. Come here, tech mantis, ready? Boom! Get wrecked. That is so much fun. I love it. Absolutely adore it. Oh my goodness. Seriously though, it is too much fun. Oh, I you know, I would love to take on that that other tech brood mother with this. I think that would be super sweet. Ooh. Did I get, where'd he go? Where's his body? We got a drake. I think that's it right there. It was probably a fire drake. And there we go, harvested. Awesome. Oh man, it's making me dizzy. I gotta like look way up high and not like down where I'm walking. All right, big move, knock down all the trees. And then I can get through. All right, let's make our way over to the plains. All right, guys, we are only five points away from max attack. Ooh, hello. Come here, Mr. Manicore. You know what, this will get us there. All right, all right. Is this the Mega Manicore? I think it is. Come here, bro. Boom! Dude, get wrecked, bro. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's see. Come on, give me them points. Yes, look at that, so many. One, two, three, four, and five. We got it. All right, uh, what is this guy gonna hit for? Let's just see, I wanna see what his normal hit does. Come on, bro. All right, there's another one on the ground here. And little flick. All right, 11 mil. That's not, that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. It is still in boss territory. Now, every other uber creature, which is, you know, like the normal Megapithecus, the normal brood mother, those all got brought down to be around 4 million, I think, on the hits, four to five million, something like that. So being at, what was it, 11 million? That's pretty dang strong. That is certainly very, very strong. Yeah, almost 12 million. All right.
pretty sweet. Now, I found out some other super sweet stuff about this guy. I'll show you in a moment. I want to boost in the rest of the levels. Let's see. Ooh, we get 1.5 for the movement speed. Let's bring it up to like 130 maybe. Let's just see how that feels. Oh, yeah, that feels pretty good. You know what? Why the heck not? Let's go up all the way to 150. Just for funsies. All right, beautiful. Um, st I don't know if it really needs stamina, but it gets pretty good boosts. Let's do it up a little bit, just in case there's like a boss that takes away stamina. And then let's go all the rest into health. Let's do it. All right, final levels. Bada boom. It's not even fully maxed out yet. We're at just shy of 700 million. That is what's up. All right, now check this out. So we know it's got the big move like this. That's its most powerful move. Dude, and it hits hard, like super hard. Um, But unlike most of the other creatures that there's a cooldown, check this out. I'm just spamming X. It just does it forever and it moves forward. It slides while it's doing it. I mean, come on now. This is epicness. It may not look all that cool, but man, this is just a moving bomb. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This was the guy. I thought it was a reclamation boss, but nope. And look at that. Defeated. Can't wreck thing. All right, Titanosaurus. And you know what else I saw over here? I saw that snake boss guy somewhere around here. And I think our broodmother would totally wreck its face. So, with this move, because it doesn't count as melee, there it is! The snake boss, ready? Check it out! Dude! Boa boss destroyed! Very epic. Very, very epic. I think that was the last boss that I hadn't done yet from the animals mod. I thinks, I thinks. Oh my goodness, what do we got here? Why are the Tranodons? They're always such tiny levels. It's so annoying. Every single time. Oh well, is what it is. So, now the question is, the only negative, like I said before about this guy, is it's not very good at picking up the loot. You know, the rare loot that's on something when you destroy it. Let's see, I think this guy would normally leave a, let's go ahead and do that. Normally leave, yep, see, we got that guy, but we didn't pick up the rare loot, which would be the seropod vertebrae. So this guy, well, it could, like, it could have potentially been amazing. Ooh, that was a really high level Dodo Rexy. It could have potentially been amazing to get all the Reaper stuff just going through Eldridge like this. Unfortunately, that would mean that we likely wouldn't even notice that we took on a Reaper and we would not pick up, therefore, the Reaper shenanigans. So, are we maxed out yet? I think this guy's amazing. Actually amazing for uh, boss getting. As a boss warrior, but... Not so much for getting loot. So, why don't we switch to one of our normal loot guys and uh, carry on. But man, I actually, other than that shaking, love this brood mother. It is really, really good. Really, really strong and definitely worth getting. Totally cool. Yeah, look at that. I mean, come on now. Amazing. All right. Um, I'm going to go head back to the base, guys. Let's switch up and start the hunting for them Reapers. All right. We're over here. There's something getting destroyed. What is going on here? Come on, guys. Let me get some. Bam. Oh, there's a prime giga. All right. What else we got? It's so weird how the... Uh, I think there are a bunch of Apexes. Probably. Oh, what is that? Is that a Prime Alpha? Oh, crap. Prime Alpha Giga. Not that that's bad, but I feel like they should give the uh, the Rex drops to her. At least the teeth. You know, it should be like an Alpha Tooth instead of just the Alpha Rex Tooth. I don't know. Is what it is. 
Um, all right, so Mega Reapers and Alpha Rex. These are the really the only things that we need. Um, and I think King Reapers. I don't, I don't know how it works. Is it King Reapers that drop the red ones? Because they're called King Reaper glands. So yeah, it could be, could be. So we're looking for the uh, like glowy spots that would be randomly around here that the Mega Reapers have. Let's fly to that one spot where we always find stuff. Right over here. Hopefully there's no Lord of War. Come on, is this the spot? Yeah, I think this spot. Here we go. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. Get wrecked. Come on. Dude, there's still that dumb alpha uh, nest up there. What is with that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's that glow right there? There's something glowing here. It's probably some type of reefer. Let's go over there. I just want to see what's in this. Is that a bag? No, it's just a rock. Oh, no, there is a bag. Oh, but it's a raptor. I swear I saw a bag a second ago. It must have been this rock. Dumb rock. Faking us out. Come on now. Yeah, that nest, I'm telling you, it's been there for like ever. I don't know what its deal is. All right, how are we doing? Anything more? Nope, nothing more. All right, let me see if I can find any more Mega Reapers. All right, guys, we got one just right over here. It was not far away at all. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And yes, I confirmed Mega Reapers are not the only Reapers that give the red ones. So that's good to know. All right, come here, Reaper. So this looks like a queen based on the tail. Let's just see, what is what is the queen gonna give? All right, so the queen definitely gave the, the, uh, the green ones. We'll see if we can find uh, another Reaper King and see what happens. What is this? Ooh, look at it, it's another Giga. Come here, Giga. Come here, come get it. Nice, that was an Apex. And another Apex. Yeah, like at least the Apex Rex should give the Alpha Tooth. I don't know, just my two cents. All right, let's clear out all these trees so we can see. So how are we doing? 37, we, we need 145, but you know, that's something. And look, we got another Reaper Barb, which we don't actually need, but it's still cool. And you know what, that tells us how many Mega Reapers we've taken on. So good enough for me. Let's carry on. I'll see you at the next Mega Reaper. All right, I've flown all through Eldridge and unfortunately it doesn't look like there's any more Mega Reapers, at least not here. So we'll see other places on the map. Um, I think there's there was a Reaper that popped out over here just a second ago. Come on, Reaper, pop back out. You can do it. Ooh, am I stuck on him? All right, let's go ahead and do big move. Are you serious? It's not popping out now. I don't know why, they're super janky sometimes. Did I get anything to pop out? Come on, come on. Oh, any, oh wait, there it is. All right, so this is a Reaper King. You can tell by the tail and look at that, confirmed. Definitely gives the red Reaper glands. So I can still farm them that way. It just takes longer because they only give a couple at a time. In any case, I'm gonna keep farming them and we'll see what else is up today. All right, guys, I was headed back towards the base and check this out. I found another Reaper. Come here, Reaper. Come on, come at me. Yes, and it's a Reaper King. And beautiful. All right, so Reapers can apparently be all over the place. I'm gonna see if there's any more over here or close by. Yup, I think I found another. Come on. I saw you moving around a second ago, Mr. Reaper. Come on out. Oh, there it is, there it is. I knew I heard something. I definitely knew I heard something. Can I get you with this? Oh, crap, what's, oh, oh, what the crap? What the crap, no, 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 no. Where did that come from? Dude, a crazy man, no! Oh my lord, how am I gonna get away from this? What in the crap is going on, bro? Are you kidding me? 
Oh, and the Reaper's still on. Seriously, Reaper? All right, how much more health does Reaper have? Oh my goodness, it's got a lot of health. All right, um... All right, we do have this guy I can throw off my shoulder. I think... Oh, crap, Nuggets, dude! Seriously? All right, let's get this Reaper. Come on. That mana core I was messing with, like, way far away. I don't know how the crap it followed me. Apparently, they can continue to fly even once they're out of render distance. All right, we got three more Reaper glands. That's a good thing. Let's go. We got to be careful because that guy does massive th torpor. All right. Um, what's his name? Crap, 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 crap. G glitch, Valkyrie, Nightshade. That was it. Nightshade. Come on. Holy. Yeah, it did it. He did a number on you, Nightshade. So this is super annoying. Um, this boss apparently. Check this out. I do my big move on him. It's like immune. It is straight up immune. I don't know how, but it is. You know who would be able to help us out, actually? Now that I think about it, the end gorilla. Yeah, we need to get our end gorilla. I think I should have a uh, thing to pull him. Come on. Ah, oh, crap nuggets. All right, is my thing out? No, lag. All right, and dragon, and where's and gorilla? What's his name? Crap, I forgot. Is it glitch? Glitch. Yes. Thank goodness I left glitch out. All right, come on, bro. Come on, manacore. Yeah, there we go. We got this. We totally got this. You know that manacore boss? We can actually—it's actually a tameable creature. That's a crazy. So they're not hostile unless you attack them first, maybe. Or something. I don't know. Come on, get out of here, bro. It's nuts, though. It's like straight up immune to so much. All right. We did good, guys. We did good. I can't believe that turd nugget. Um, let's go ahead and bring Glitch back to the base. He can go inside the base. All right, beautiful. Did you teleport glitch? All right, good. Just a little delayed. Something's going on with the server. I don't know. I guess it's it's one of those things when you get close to the end of the season. Stuff happens. Are you seriously going to be stuck on them? Dude, not cool. What the crap? What is going on here? I think it was the manacore wing was like pushing us under the ground. I don't know. Pretty nuts. Um, I'm going to see if there's any more Reapers. I'll just go farm them off camera. And then there's one last thing I wanted to check out today. All right, guys. There it is just behind us. A war giant, it's called. It takes one of the purple things. Let's see if we can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's your tamer? Dude. Are you kidding me? What the crap? How did you do that, War Giant? You're sp that's so dumb. It's supposed to be able to just... Uh, I don't even know. We'll try again. All right, guys. Here it is back again. It says it's a purple. We got a purple on us. Oh, come on. I don't know. Maybe maybe we, we like, bumped into it, and that's what the problem was. All right, maybe we got to, like, sneak... I don't know. That thing was mean. It just wrecked us. Oh, crap. All right. I'm, uh, yeah, see, it, it definitely, oh, it definitely got hot. Oh, it got hostile at us. Perhaps we need a ghillie suit. I don't know. I got to look into this. There's got to be a way to do it. All right. I'm back with my ghillie suit. It's actually called for the, uh, the prime ghillie suit, it's called camouflage, which is kind of cool. All right, where did this guy go? Crap. Um, I think it prevents fall damage. All right, and is that where I lost my body? It's probably right down here. Please tell me that's not. Okay, that is. So it should be right around here. Where'd this guy go? Where'd you go, bro? Are you kidding me? Did it despawn? These guys are so sneaky. Oh, wait. Is that? There it is. There it is. 
All right, let's see if we can sneak up on him with this. All right, it feels like we're getting closer. Yeah. Oh, man, come on. Sneak up, sneak up. And, oh, I saw it. Oh, crap. No, no. I definitely feel like I saw it. I definitely, definitely think I did. It just, I bumped into it. All right, it's... Crap, it still sees me. It still sees me. Leave me alone, bro. Oh my goodness, it still sees me. How far away do I have to get? All right, let's stay ducked down super low. Maybe if I just run up quick and spam E. All right, I'm gonna do that. Mm, no! Cramp nuggets. Are you kidding me? Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a bit too much. Well, you know what, guys? We're starting to get to the point where we're going to be over time. I feel bad not to do it. We're definitely going to do it. I definitely, that's like the last creature from the animals mod that I really want to get. But I think we'll save it for next episode. Maybe you guys can give me some tips or tricks for it, too. We'll see if it can be a thing. Is he, okay, he lost interest. I suppose we could try one last time. Just one last time. Oh, this is so ridiculous. All right, come on. Come on. All right, just spam E. Spam E. Uh, dude, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I got all the way to him. There's got to be something else going on. I don't know. But anyway, I think we did good today. Either way, we got to check out that amazing new boss. We got the amazing new Celestial. We got tons of Reaper shenanigans. Yeah, and hopefully come next episode, we'll be able to check out the Reaper. Or who knows, maybe the T-Rex. We'll see which, but it'll definitely be one of them. Anyway, let me go through those comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments, and yes, it is that time. That's right, time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode, and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right, just remember, you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen you got to be a subscriber so smash that subscribe button and you got to comment down below it is just that easy anyway for today we have the celestial dota wyvern to name and the new mega p so without any further ado we have night terror i love it perfect name and Snowflake, very epic. Totally love it. For next episode, we need to come up with a name for our amazing new Celestial Spider. Very, very cool. And until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc Awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again, and peace out.